What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Jump. I got an email, or actually a Facebook message from Brother Devin, and I believe this is who this particular um, screenshot is from, rather. And what we are dealing with is what you're seeing on the screen. She is 55 years old. Now we're gonna kind of blur the face out a little bit. And um, I, I mean, I have the actual real photo of what she looks like. She's not a bad looking lady at all. She is um, what I would consider to be good looking. But she has an interesting post that she made in this particular Facebook group. And if I'm not mistaken, it is in the Kevin Samuels Facebook group. I would like to read it with you, if you will. Dang music! Good evening, beautiful people. It's me, 55 Classy and Sassy. Hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Question. When do men know if you're the one for me? Well, if you're the one. For me, I know you're the one. When you show unselfish, self-sacrificing love for me and my daughter and put our needs and wants before yours, it shows me you're a considerate person. And those are traits I match. Mm -hmm. give, her, give her a round of applause for that particular post. Because I want to say something here, and I don't want to be rude, but it is uh, bullshit. Because if you are 55 years old and you have not found somebody in the your life today to help you are to support you as a woman and your child and love you unconditionally. What it shows to me at 55 years old is that it's not going to happen, okay? And that is probably all over but the shouting. Shout out to Obsidian. And I want you guys to hear the selfishness and the entitlement in the post. What do you hear? Let's talk about it. For me, I know you're the one when you show unselfish, self-sacrificing love for me and my daughter and put our needs and wants before yours. Now, let's talk about that. What? Now, what is it that you have? What, 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 who do you, number one, who do you think you are, number one? Number two, what is it that a man gets from you for putting his needs before you and your daughter, a kid that is not his. You're a woman who's 55 years old. There are women out there who are 45. There are women out there who are 35. There are women out there who are 25. You are a woman who is not looking to reciprocate at all. You feel that a man should come and do everything for you. And that is how a man shows his love for you. But what makes you so special? What is it about you that makes you so important that every man should stop doing what he is doing right now and just focus on your ass? What is it about you? And see, here's the position. That you, you don't learn from your mistakes. At this point, you are in a complicated situation. You're 55. You have a daughter. At this age and at this level in life, you should already know that you need to be trying to be a little bit more, a little bit more negotiable in what you're trying to do. You need to be a little bit more understanding of where you are, who you're competing against. You are in America where there are many beautiful women, women of many different races, women who are very beautiful, women who are very nice. But of course you feel that a man must give everything to you. And then that makes him compatible with you. So he should give, you know, his money to you and your daughter. 
Well, you're not his responsibility, dear. See, if you are responsible for your own life, then you would already be able to take care of you and your daughter. If you're responsible for your own choice in men, then the guy that you had the baby with would be that responsibility of that daughter. But yet you feel that some decent man should, should come out of his way and forsake himself for you while you do not do anything for him. <clears throat> then we wonder why you are 55 and single and you will be 56 and single and 57 and single and 58 and single. But see, here's the problem. This is what men are complaining about all over the world. And you see this in Kevin Samuels call in show. You see this um, on Tinder. Women who have clearly, who are clearly out of demands. They're not what the market is asking for. Okay. She's not a bad looking woman, but clearly th there is no real incentive for a man to provide. And a, a woman that's 55 years old probably has real bills. I mean, let's just be honest. 55, a woman is looking for a man to do some real big time stuff. Okay. <clears throat> um, a woman who is 22, 23 doesn't have the same bills on as 20, as 55. So you're looking for a man to give you money for your kid, give you money for yourself. You know, in other words, pay your bills instead of his bills. But you, you're not giving him anything. There's nothing about you that is valuable to do that. Do that. And then you sound ridiculous because you feel that maybe because you and she she you can tell that she used to be very, very beautiful and she still kind of is now. But, you know, not so much that a guy would, you know, I can see a few guys smashing and dashing on you. But insofar as to dedicating their life, no, because this is it's a, it's a wrong investment. You can go somewhere else and get a woman that's much younger, that is much cheaper, that is, you know, able to have his own kids with. I mean, if I'm going to be self-sacrificing, I can do that for a woman I'm going to start a family with. What incentive would I have to would I have for a woman who already has a family, who already probably has bills, <clears throat> who's already been molded in certain ways? that I probably can't deal with. I mean, like you think about it at 55, you have an outlook on life that is probably very unilateral. Okay. That outlook is not going to change. You are not looking to change. You're probably not going to be able to change to for a man. And it doesn't seem like you want to, you want things your way at 55, which is great. You can have anything that your way, that doesn't mean that you're going to get it. And obviously you're not going to get it because you forget you're competing against a lot of beautiful women in America. Okay. You're competing uh, against a lot of nice women in America. You're competing against a lot of beautiful sisters in America who are not going to have this particular attitude. And I'm glad that she's so adamant about how, what she wants, because I think for most guys, it's laughable. You know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. And you're going to continue to be what you are right now, which is single and no man. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. <laughs>